10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. Guys, huh? Look at that one. Isn't that a good one? All right, girl. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Look at that. That one my camera was on. What? Jesus, Mother Mary of God! Did someone see that? Oh my God! Man, I got slick. Here we are again, chasing a teener. Would really like to catch one at some point in time. Today we brought uh, like a dozen and a half wild shiners for the morning. And then we'll switch over to the old swim jigifications after that. I don't know how this is gonna go. Losing motivation, I'm fishing all the time. Been a long way to paddle. Already sweating like a whore in church. Yeah, it's too hot to run the front camera and this camera keeps getting too hot if I put it on my head and it's in direct sunlight all day so at least this way I can shade it with my body and I can run an external power pack to it all day instead of having to change the batteries out so that's a plus maybe one day I'll design a hat that has a little pocket on the back that you can put an external battery and run a GoPro all day from your hat but that's just it's a lot of weight on your head. Sit there all day. You know, I could be fishing through all this, but I brought these for one area, one place. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna use them there first. And once I'm done fishing there, if I'm tired of fishing there, I'll try to come do some shiners elsewhere. What in the world was that? It was big. Stir it up again. That had to be a turtle. What we're going to do today is probably not the best idea, but we're going to try to pitch some wild shiners into the areas that we think the fish are sitting amongst all these lily pads. This should be difficult. And interesting. I'll try to see if we can entice them to come outside of these pads just a little bit so we can hook them and them not be in the pads. But these fish seem to be pretty smart. Guys, we hooked something big. I think it's a bow fin or a gar. Oh my gosh, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. Wow, that's big. It's 10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. Ugh. Holy crap. Jesus Christ, guys. Look at the size of this beast. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm shaking like a dog shit and peach seeds. That hook just came right out. Holy crap. 
me get this pole out of the way so we can get a look at this. Oh wow. Look at that guys. Look at the size of that fish. Huh? This it's not 12. It looks over 10. Might be high nines. Feels 10 all day though. Let's get him in the water for a minute. Let's get a weight on him. Nah, we don't want to do that. I bet you'll go back in the water. We'll just uh, keep him in the water until we get these scales and get this other camera going. That's a big fish. Felt like a gar. Wow. Oh, okay. It's the new moon again, and we got another one. I gotta see if I can reach back here and grab my scale. It's behind my seat, and I'm trying to hold this fish in the water. So, here we go. Zero. Zero. nine pounds 14 ounces it keeps going to 10 though there it is 10 pounds one ounce 10 pounds one ounce how about that one guys huh how about that one is that another good one? Is that another good one? Alright. We'll see you later, girl. into the deep back off into the deep another new moon another trophy fish that wasn't a teener guys but it was a double digit fish it was right close scale said 10 pounds 7 ounces then it said 9 pounds 15 ounces then it settled on 10 pounds 1 ounce twice so it was probably about 10 pounds, one ounce, 10 pounds, two ounces, something like that. But it was right there. It was right there, man. I thought that was a gar or a big bowfin at first. I really did. Holy crap. He just bit a bare hook. Well, that was pretty crazy. Are you guys seeing this? Look at them schooling right here, hitting all kinds of stuff. They just hit a bare hook. That was crazy. So we throw that shiner out there just like that, and it shouldn't take long at all. See all these bass schooling right here? Boom, something's got my shiner. Boom, something's got my shiner. Yep. I got us a little guy, a little schooler. Look at that cute little schooler. Cute little schooler. Little schooler. The wind is pumping yet again. So the rain's coming. It's time for us to get out of here. I just used the rest of the shiners up. I caught one that was three and a half pounds on a jig when I was bored. 
and then we caught one that was 10 pounds one ounce after we waited a couple times although the first time we waited it did say 10 pounds seven ounces and just kept jumping around so it settled on 10 pounds one ounce we got a trophy fish on the new moon again so that's one two th that's three trophy fish this month we're gonna keep it rolling we're gonna see what happens tomorrow sorry to bore you guys with some shiners but it was the new moon and i'm chasing this teener so i had to bring all the ammunition i could possibly bring uh it still wasn't a good day it's really hot it's super hot out here i'm pretty upset at these shiners i hate using live bait but we suffered through a day of using live bait we got one trophy fish we still do better on artificial than we do on live bait until next time you know what to do hit those buttons and keep them wet to add another sticker to the kayak. That makes 26 trophy fish since October 1st of 2020. Now we need four more before October 1st and we will have caught 30 trophy bass in one year.